Good day, it's Jamie with Garage Kings here. I'm about to show you another metallic floor. What I'm about to do is put a slip coat on top of this primed silver metallic floor. A lot of people go with a black prime coat, which I used to do a lot as well. Now I've kind of started varying it up a little bit and uh, putting different prime coats down. We also put our logo down in the middle. When I spread my material onto the floor, I like to even it out as humanly possible, either in ribbons across the floor. Uh, I don't typically do a straight line across the floor unless we're doing extremely large areas. As you can see, this is about 300 square feet. That's pretty much the perfect size for a metallic floor if you're doing like a marbling effect where you got multiple colors. And I like to work in sections like that. If you're doing super huge areas, then sticking to one color is usually a good idea. The largest uh, slip coat and marble effect I've ever done is about 6,000 square feet where I actually put it on at 30 square feet a gallon. Uh, that was a long six hours to do 6,000 square feet basically. So I could have done that in like a third the time if it was just one color. So right now I'm just focused on getting the material all spread out. And you can see that I have my match trowel blade side down. Once I have all the material spread out, then I'll switch my, my blade to the other way. As a lot of people that know me know, I like to do a lot of times put a slip coat down first, or you're putting wet on wet to do a lot of my effects. Now, it depends on the situation and that sort of thing. There's unlimited variations on how to do a floor. There's never a right way as long as you get the result that you're looking for. But this is a typical technique that I like to do a lot of the times. So at this point in time, I'm not too concerned about getting it completely even because there's going to be more colors going on top. A lot of the times when I do a slip coat and then a second, usually it's just usually a second color. This time I think there's three other colors going on top. We're actually at the head office of Power Coat here doing a demonstration on some of our metallics. This is the first time that we met them. We're using their products in this video actually. Double checking my edges, making sure the whole floor is wet. I'm not too concerned about a little bit of heavier spots. Again, my main focus is just making sure that the whole floor has some epoxy on it. One thing when you're working with logos, you've got to really make sure is that you don't step on it with your spike shoes so you don't puncture it. Uh, that logo isn't per perforated. Typically, though, when I am doing floors, I like to have perforated logos because, one, it gives you the ability for the epoxy or your sealer to get underneath of the logo and stop it from ever lifting. This is just a test area, and uh, so that's why that one isn't perforated. Because if you don't perforate it, you're relying on the glue on the back of that sticker to be held down, and if anything heavy hits it, it could pop it. So when I see huge logos online that aren't perforated it's just to me it's a ticking time bomb it's just inevitable before the day comes that they're gonna have a mess on their hands so as you can see there are areas where it is pooled and that's okay and now all i'm doing is taking my other colors and just randomly adding it to the floor As a lot of you know, I like to uh, figure out ways to make things look complicated, but are easy to pull off. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just spreading it out, kind of dumping it in a way that it's somewhat even and random. So that none of your lines are the same. 
One big thing you want to make sure is that you hide your method of application. So when you do a floor, you don't want people to see how you actually, what tools you used or kind of how you did it. So if all your ribbons, when you're pouring onto the floor are the same size and that, then you're going to have very distinctive, you could have very distinctive lines and you don't want to say, oh, he poured it right there. You don't want that to happen. That's, a, that's one of the main reasons I like to do a slip coat instead of just pouring all those colors at the same time on the floor. So now it's as simple as I'm starting at one end of the room. I'm flipping my magic trial upside down and starting at one end of the room and working my way to the next. Just making sure that the whole floor is covered evenly and that I don't have any spots that really show the drop marks on where it landed. So I'm just slowly floating my material across the floor. The great thing I like about a magic trial versus like a notch squeegee on the main coat is you can really control the depth and how it looks. So even though I'm working my way from one room to the other, there is some randomness involved just so that you don't have it too patterned out. So you can see that first half house, it's starting to look really beautiful. Again, a nice thing with that silver bottom coat is it's really accenting the colors that are on top. It's, if that was a black prime coat, it would look totally different. This is a really nice epoxy to work with. I really enjoyed working with it. And we've actually started using the Power Coat uh, products. So once you get to the end, then it's just about double checking to make sure that there's nothing wrong. Here I'm showing an example to the guys where if you do have a mark, like a windshield wiper mark, where you accidentally hit the floor too hard, you need to start at the edges to fix that. So like right there where I hit the floor, if you want to fix that, you got to come from the side. You can't start in the middle. You have to start from the side and then pull it to fix it. Or else you're going to get that windshield wiper mark. So just like that, you have yourself a a really, really nice floor. It looks really nice. I really enjoy doing this floor. And now you're going to see some pictures of it after it cured out. So there you go. That's the one of my latest floors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. Here we are with the Power Coat guys. Thanks again for a wonderful time.